Hey guys, Billy Davidson here with Davidson Pressure Wash Painting. We're doing some parking lot striping today. We're actually doing it in the daytime because uh, tonight it's supposed to be the rain coming through. So we got the proper paint selected. So um, it'll go down on this black top. This is kind of an older black top. It's been beat up a little bit. It probably needs a resealing at some point in the near future. So we're using a specific type of paint that will lay down pretty good on this right here and also dry pretty quickly and be ready for the weather coming in tonight. So picking that proper paint for each application is real important. If you use the wrong paint when it rained tonight, you would have yellow lines bleeding yellow paint all over this parking lot. Got Apex over here doing a little touch up work on the uh, some of these lines. It's been a few weeks since we came in and prepped it um, due to the weather, you know, we had to put it on delay, but we're kind of getting it knocked out now. This parking lot has been needing restriped for several months now. we just been so booked up, we hadn't been able to uh, get to them. Actually, we stay booked up anywhere from three to five months on striping. So it's been several months, but here we are. We're getting it done. They're going to be happy about that. This is a problem right here I'm going to talk to you about in a second if you ever run across it. I want to show you a few other things. A bunch of it's really nose to nose parking. I mean, um, that's nose to nose parking, but the, most of it's just straight 90 degree parking. These are a little slower to do, so we charge different. Now, if this was nose to nose like these, but they were straight through, like they got the wheel stops, so you can't actually go through. So that's single, basically treated as single line parking when we price it, as you see in our pricing video uh, on our All Pro Striping course. Now, if these were where well, we could start here and just flow right through and stripe the entire line without stopping, we can give them a reduced rate because we only have one start and one stop per two lines. So it goes much faster for us. And so we could charge a little bit less, but these little singles, I mean, you start, stop, start, stop on each individual line. So we're out of town right now. We're about 130 miles away from our shop. So this job is paying us really, really good. And we're happy to come do it. So like I was saying, this right here is gonna give us a little heartache. Reason is because the wheel stops were placed in a manner to where we really don't have enough room in between these wheel stops to set our machine up with our spray arm on the side to have enough room to spray it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna tuck that spray bar back in between the striper. I'm gonna show y'all that a little bit later, how it exactly works. So make sure you stay towards the end of the video because this could save you a lot of money. Now we charge like we're gonna hand paint this, okay? Don't tell nobody, but we charge like we're gonna hand paint it because when we first started doing this job, we thought we were gonna to have to, but I charged an extra two hours of rate to hand paint this but we found that we can do that little tuck and spray little thing we came up with. And we can actually paint this in about 45 seconds versus two hours. Now we will have to do a little hand painting in these little cross sections here, but it still saves us about two hours of time doing that tuck technique. So um, stay tuned towards the end of the video. We're gonna talk about that. Also, on these um, parking lots right here, sometimes blowing is good enough. Sometimes it takes some sweeping as well. Oftentimes, it could take also some power washing. So please refer back to the All Pro parking lot driving course. We go over each of those items very carefully and show you exactly which ones to do, which ones you don't have to do. It can save you a lot of time and earn you more money per hour. If you kind of know the nuances, there'll be a link down in the description to the All Pro Striping course as well. So we're going to join Big Chris right here and kind of give you a little shot of what we're doing here. Again, we're doing these single 90 degree parking lines. And guys, listen, um, I get this in the comments all the time. Does, does this surface have to be extremely clean? The answer is no, it doesn't. Does it have to be relatively clean? Sure. You know, you don't want to paint over grass if possible. Uh, you don't want to paint over mildew for sure. But if there's a little dirt and sand on the ground, it's fine 
it actually does not that big of a deal. Plus, that spray tip's pushing out about 2,000 pounds of pressure. So if there's some little granulants as he's pushing along, usually it blows them out the way. And the ones that do get encapsulated in the paint, it's not that big of a deal as long as it is a dry material and not a wet material or organic like mildew or algae or something. So again, we're gonna do these right here, all this. Now they got some long lines over there. Those pay really good. Uh, those are uh, 75 feet long each. Now they'll take a lot of paint. So you obviously got to charge for them. That's, those are about three lines worth of value versus these lines here because they're three times as long. These lines generally are about 18 feet. That's another common question I get. How long is a parking line? Generally about 18 feet long. Uh, these look a, bit, be a, bit, a little bit longer. Um, I think they were laid out in a way that would maybe allow a larger vehicles and stuff but sometimes if you're going to have to put a wheel stop in these lines need to be about 20 feet long because the wheel stop is offset about 18 inches so think about that 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 way so you don't have an incidental tap bumper to bumper so they got to be off you know pulled back and offset a little bit so we're going to hang tight uh with us please we're going to um show you some more stuff we're going to show you a tuck technique in a little while Guys, it's got to be at least 102 degrees out here. Maybe My truck said 101 a while ago, sitting in a parking lot, and I think it's every bit of that. Hey, it's hot, but guess what we're about to do? We're about to go make a few thousand dollars, so y'all hang tight, and we'll be right back. So, guys, I want to show y'all something here. One of the big myths about striping is that we got to put cones out and block it off and, and all that stuff. We literally striped these lines probably two minutes ago, like 120 seconds ago. So let's see how dry they are. Nothing. Now it's a little tender, but for the most part, these could get rode on, rode over, drove on, whatever. I probably wouldn't want a car coming in here twisting on them because we can get some hot tire pickup for the next 15 minutes, but using the correct paint, you're good, you know? Now, if you come out here and use the wrong paint, and, you know, this stuff could be wet for two days out here. Guess what? They're gonna be open in the morning. So if I use the wrong paint, all these lines were wet. Imagine my insurance probably would be happy about it. You know, people getting out their car, getting it on their floor mats inside their nice car, walking it across the parking lot, having yellow footsteps everywhere. <laughs> I say, I laugh because I've seen this happen to one of the guys locally in my town. I went over there, he wasn't extremely local, it was about 20 miles from me, I was washing. He was trying to stripe this parking lot. I approached a gentleman, I was like, hey, um, you know, I introduced myself to him. I was like, I don't mean to try to tell you what to do, but if you put this paint on the ground, it's going to be wet tomorrow and maybe even the next day because the temperature was a little low. Well, he pretty much told me mind my own business, and which I probably should have, you know. It is what it is. Sometimes I don't have much of a filter. I said, yes, sir. I said, I said call me if you need any help. Gave my business. I went to hand him my business card. He said, I don't need that. So that was it. Um next day he called me he must have remembered me introducing myself my name and he's like hey i was the guy that was striping out there he said those lines are still wet could i blow torch them and heat them up i was like no sir that ain't gonna work either you know paint doesn't dry paint cures you know we always say is the paint dry but really is scientifically it doesn't dry it cures kind of like concrete so it's a chemical reaction that causes the, the cure curing process so i said no he's not going to do it and um so i said the only thing you do is go rope it all off and just stand out there for hours and hours and only no one drive into that section because sometimes you put cones and rope it off and 10 minutes later somebody breaks right through it so he did that he stood out there for about six hours you know babysitting him he sat in his truck he called me a couple times he's a real nice guy uh, once we got to talking and, you know, that sort of thing. And, um, you know, every now and then we still chat. You know, he'll call or text when something comes up. But, you know, that just shows you that, you know, it doesn't mean you're a dummy or you're not smart or you're uneducated if you use the wrong paint. 
it can happen if you, you just don't know what you don't know. So I tell guys all the time, do your research, uh, get your education on this striping before you attempt it because you don't want the first few jobs to end your career. Your career will be over before you get started. So anyway, sorry about that long rant, but it just popped in my head there and reminded me over it. So um, we're gonna get this done. It's coming out really good. We're just really hoping that this rain stays away. And look at this stuff over here. Oh my God. Yep. So that's what we're fighting. And um, now the wind is blowing to from left to right. So this may scoot on around us. But they're calling like for 15% rain up until a certain time this afternoon. And that's what we're wrestling against. So guys, anyway, uh, don't forget, I'm going to show you that tuck technique <laughs> at some point today. So don't go away. If you like the video so far, please hit that thumbs up button. If you don't like it, hit the thumbs down button. Either way, let me know if you dig this type of content. This uh, basically, I call it on the fly video. And I don't have no script and I'm going by and just talking about this stuff. Sometimes I get carried away. I'm so passionate about striping. This has changed my life. And a lot of other people, too. And don't get me started on that. <laughs> it, it really has. Um, you know, I eat what I want to eat. Uh, I live where I want to live. I drive whatever vehicles I want to drive, wear whatever clothes I want to wear. Money is not an issue. But it is hot out here. So pick your poison. You know, you're going to stay at home and struggle financially. Or come out here and do something that's challenging. It's hot. You know, we got ice chest, so I'll be fine. Big Chris and Apex is fine. You know, it's hot. Uh, it's challenging. You know, there's a, a learning curve to it. But, um, you know, come out here and make a few thousand dollars a day. And if someone can show me something better than that, I'm, I'm all ears, you know. I'm open to learning more about anything that will pay me five or six thousand dollars a day. So anyway, hang tight. I'm going to uh, show you that tuck technique here in a bit. And um, let's see how that works. So guys, this is something that popped up. We have to move this little camper that's been placed in our way. So what we're gonna do, we stripe in behind it. We had Apex pull it far. I gotta show you something about Apex's truck. So Big Chris is gonna go hit that. Now that's gonna be dry like in five minutes and we're gonna just roll this thing back really easy and then hit these lines. So um, I gotta show you this. This is his, uh, this is his Ford F-150. There's no way this truck would pull this camper anywhere. <laughs> Apex, what is going on with this mess you got driving here? Do you feel like you're about to take off in a 747 looking at that steering wheel? Dude, that thing's so heavy, it's got to do with the Carolina <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what. Well, you say so your truck would have to have airbags, huh? Bigger truck. <laughs> yeah, for real. Man, like a, a leveling kit, a 250 something. Let's look out this out the windshield. Where I can almost mm -hmm. like exclusively see the sky. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like leaning back. <laughs> yeah, 747 pilot. You clear for takeoff? This ATC 2759, or you're clear for one way 1741. All right, so we're gonna wait till that clear uh, dries off back there, and then we're gonna slide it back, and then unhook it, and then stripe these. So guys, this is all in a day of striping the parking lot. What's the wait on it? We got the police department out here, and everybody They're about to throw J Jacob on the ground. <laughs> What's the weight of this thing? Probably a good eight thousand pounds, I would guess, eighty three hundred. Seven thousand six hundred and twenty-one pounds, and that's the dry weight. <laughs> so I was close, eighty-two hundred. So yeah, dude, is... I imagine with a little bit of water on board, a couple of items, a couple of few canned food, propane tank. Yeah, I'm not completely bottomed out. The truck's only supposed to tow up to eighty-three hundred pounds, but. I'd say that's a little generous of Ford to claim. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know? Well, you got you a little bit of skid back there, but that's, uh, I don't think my Tundra would squat that hard. Right, yeah. It's pretty tight. You wouldn't steal this one for sure. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> not with this officer here too <laughs> you try to steal this one you just get hung up on the curb down there now look at this guys we're gonna have to leave a comment in the box below the tundra's got it on there it ain't even squatting really just a little but don't tell apex i told him it didn't even squat my truck at all he's he's kind of upset right now that's good apex i'm picking on him by that ford squat and i like ford too but it's hard to beat a tundra it's squatting a little bit but that ford looked like it was gonna give up on that other camper jacob it was like it was tapping out i'm shocked <laughs> All right, guys, y'all let us know in the comment box below what is going on with Jake, uh, Apex's Ford for F-150. What year is it? 2017. 2017. It's got the itty-bitty V6 in it. It's got the 27 <laughs> Eco Boost. Always pick on Not about it. All right, we're gonna, uh, we might have to hook up another one, so y'all hang tight. We got Big Chris over here making some money. I'm about for a water break, y'all. All right, guys, this is what we talked about, the tuck technique, where we took that arm back inwards near that front tire it's difficult to strike like this but it surely beats hand painting like i said this is too narrow in here for our machine to fit you can see chris has happened to very carefully guide the machine and obviously that's the finished product let's catch back up so that pack back tire is straddling that line now come on down here so this arm articulates in a lot of different directions and knowing that this machine is capable of do this could definitely save you a couple hours of out here and this heat is actually 101 degrees right now where we at and the parking lot obviously it's a dark color so it's probably much hotter than that here at the surface and this sure beats hands and knees you know even if we did have to do it the old-fashioned way you know like i was saying hand painting we still put a couple hundred dollars in here for this and since i've started the recording it to right now we've made two hundred dollars so um and that's what the all-pro parking lot striping course really teaches you things that would take you years to learn otherwise this technique's in there with more detail uh in addition to dozens and dozens of other techniques so just in the length of time that you've seen us start and stop this line as 200 dollars and um i don't know a minute 45 seconds whatever it is i have to go back and look and see how long it took us so other than that I love parking lot striping, and I think you will too. If you go get into it, we got a little bit of touch up, clean up, and riding back to our shop, which is a good bit from us, but we're gonna stop and grab something cold to drink and a sandwich, a cold sam sandwich is good. I'm fighting with this weather over here, so it's starting getting about that time. Now, if this rain can hold off another five minutes, we're good and it is so but this storm is actually blowing right towards us so we are uh, just in the nick of time we're getting this done we got a little bit of touch-ups to do and then the sky can unload on us we wouldn't care because all of this will be rain ready within five minutes from right now and because we've chosen the, the correct paint for the correct application the correct surface the ambient temperature the humidity we change our paints often because of different atmospheric conditions. Also, not only the paint that we use, but the viscosity of the paint. We have it a certain viscosity. We use a certain spray tip. Of course, we go over all of that in the All-Pro parking lot striping course very extensively. Guys, anyway, before we get blown away by this big storm coming, we're going to get on out of here. If you like this type of content, this first person, me just talking, no script, just raw behind the scenes footage please hit that like button leave a comment below and we'll do more of these also don't forget to hit that subscribe button go visit billydavisonvip.com and i hope to see you in the next video all right guys it is pouring down rain i said i was gonna let y'all go but this is it we wanted to check these lines right before we leave 
it's pouring down rain. These were the last ones we painted. Y'all just seen the clip. Um, so they holding up again. You know, it was five to ten minutes. It started raining, and um, they're gonna be fine. So make that was sure. Yep, they're good. All right, guys. Choosing the right paint's important. <laughs> we'll see y'all soon.